Yeah. Tell me you're down, crashing at me like the waves. I'm making feel, I got you feeling some weird type of way. Love seeing you on the top, bringing it down, keeping it hush. Baby girl, the way you do it, I can't get enough. Grace. Tell me you're down, crashing at me like the waves. I make you feel, I got you feeling some weird type of way. Love seeing you on the top, bringing it down. My chest as I lay here with you. Your fingers go through my hair. What you finna do? Girl, you a freak. But baby, that's only for me. Damn, it feels so amazing with somebody I'm down for. It's down for me. Matrix, we slow every time that we ride. Tell me I make it feel like a new high. Tell me I'm better than all of your exes. Even if that's just a lie. Say that you never want nobody else. Say that you want me no matter the time. Girl, you know you can get it. You don't gotta ask. Just gotta give me the signs, yeah I see in your eyes, you wanna go down And I see in your eyes, you wanna go now Floating away, drowning in you, babe Floating away, drowning in you, babe, babe, yeah Tell me you're down, crashing at me like the waves I make you feel, I got you feeling some weird type of way Love seeing you on the top Bringing it down, keeping it hush Baby girl, the way you do it, I can't get enough waves Tell me you're down, crashing at me like the waves I make you feel, I got you feeling some weird type of way Love seeing you on the top, bringing it down, keeping it hush Baby girl, the way you do it, I can't get enough waves Hello guys, it is Friday, um, ignore how disgusting I look, I just finished cardio and legs, um, I just wanted to like talk about something cause I'm two weeks out, well one day away from being two weeks out from my show, um, and I want to be as transparent as I can be with you guys, I know like the way that I live my life and I have been living my life is like, I love working out. I actually enjoy tracking my food because I love um, having that like structure to my life so I don't mind tracking food. Um, so like going into prep it's like nothing really changed. The only thing that really changed was I added cardio but like literally that was it. Like I still track my food, I still work out, go hard in the gym, like I don't go harder because I'm on prep, I just continue on as I was. So. Um, like, yes, it's hard, but, like, this is what my life was beforehand, and, like, the hard part about prep to me is not the diet, not the cardio, like, it's literally just fighting temptation sometimes and fitting in prep into my life. Like, I have a lot going on other than tracking macros and going to the gym and getting my workouts in, and, like, that's what I find difficult and yes I have days where I literally just want to break down and be like I'm fucking done with this like uh, why am I doing this like I would rather enjoy my life and go out to eat with friends and all that stuff but like in the grand scheme of things it's like not that big of a deal but like yes I have those bad days but I'm not I don't want people's sympathy and I don't feel the need to broadcast it and I, that's not me being 
like not honest with people or not being transparent like the amount of people who say prep is hard like we all know dieting is not easy everybody knows that like dieting is hard getting your workouts in is hard like we all know and I'd rather say guys yeah it fucking sucks sometimes but it doesn't matter because like I'm on prep and I want to be on prep and just the attitude that I'm going at it with like yes times are hard for me very often but like I just I don't want to broadcast that negativity into the world I'd rather take it as guys I'm having a hard day but I'm pushing through it because I fucking want to and because I can push through it and I guess some people want to see the like me almost in tears on the gym floor like times in my life but for me I'd rather tell you guys yeah guys I had a hard day but that's life and I'm gonna move on from it I grew from that hard day and I'm happy that it happened honestly because it just helps me grow as a person and I don't think that that's me being not real I like that's just me how I am and that's how my personality is if it's something's hard to me one I tr I don't show it that much I'm I try to be very cool calm and collected like at all times and like that's how I am at work even like if I'm like super like in the weeds and I have so many tables and I'm like stressed the fuck out I literally don't show it like I'm very I don't show when I'm stressed out I don't show when I'm upset I really like just kind of mask it which I don't like I don't know if that's a good thing but that's just how I am so I'm not gonna like broadcast the negative because like in my mind I'm like everyone knows this shit's difficult I really would ra I take the other route and I'm like guys this is hard but you could do it too if you wanted to like I'm I'm trying to show people that yeah times can be hard and there can be bad days but like you could move past it and it like you don't have to like dwell on the hardships and the negative parts of prep or life like literally you can do whatever you want to do i just would rather have a positive attitude about it and I, that's not me hiding it like prep is hard and that's pretty obvious to the normal person that like, you want to track every food that you eat do you want to resist foods that you want do you want to have to say no to people that you can't go out to eat because you have to like eat your fucking meal that you prepped of course not but like that's just part of life and that's what I want to do so like I'm not gonna complain about it and I'm like I'm not trying to hide that it's hard I just feel like people know that and like I don't want to put that side of prep out to the public I would rather put the positive sides and like the fact that yes I can fucking do this part out because that's what's inspiring to others the part that I show is guys I'm struggling but look i've survived the day look i got my cardio and still even though i worked 13 hours like those are the things that i want to share and show and that's the attitude that i want to have throughout this so like i don't know what you guys want to see but that is how just like my personality is like i don't dwell on negatives and kind of be like oh poor me you know today was really hard i say yeah today fucking sucked but I made it through and tomorrow's a new day and like that I don't know that's just how my personality is so if people think that that's me being like fake or like not real like that's actually like how I really just am um but I don't know so anyways I just wanted to touch on that um I was just like on the Stairmaster at the gym like listening to Andy Frisella he gets me so like on one so um that was just like a random thought I had. I just wanted to like talk about it because I feel like that's like a lot more inspiring than saying like, guys, this is really hard. Like we know it's hard, but why don't you say how fucking amazing it feels to do hard shit and overcome it and like come out on the other side. Like you don't feel amazing fucking satisfaction unless you push yourself to the limits of almost breaking, but not breaking. I don't know, I'm now I'm just rambling, but anyways, guys, Whatever you set your mind to, you can fucking do. If it's hard, suck it up. If it's something you want to do, the hard parts won't affect you that badly because the good parts of it and the shit that you love will keep you going. Like, I literally love the process of prep. I actually love the grind. I love being pushed to the limits. Like, I love feeling like, fuck, I have nothing else to give and I do it anyways. Like, for me, that's a very rewarding feeling day to day. Um, so anyways guys 
I'm done. Um, hopefully that would like maybe someone needed to hear that today. I don't know, but you guys can do anything that you set your heart to, set your mind to, make something a priority, and you can do it. It doesn't matter how fucking hard it is. It doesn't matter what people say that you can or cannot do. If you want to do something, you can do it. Um, anyways, little rant for you guys. So I'm gonna go inside and eat lunch now. Thanks for listening, guys. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next clip. So I'm gonna be at work for dinner, but I just want to show you guys my lunch and dinner. Um, that looks really disgusting right now, but because I made the egg whites last night. But I just have four ounces of turkey, a whole cup of egg whites, and then two and a half ounces of lettuce. Honestly, adding lettuce to my meals really, really helps with just like eating a ton of volume and like the lettuce adds like 10 calories to it so and this is my favorite meal on planet earth um i ended up finding 96 percent lean ground beef i literally have been craving ground beef on prep but i haven't found like super lean beef so i finally found it so i have four ounces of that um half a cup of sauteed broccoli which is another favorite of mine and sweet potato fries which are absolutely incredible i'm going to show you guys the bag of the brand that they are so these are them literally so so amazing like i eat them so slow because i just never want it to end um the macros are not too bad a little bit high in fat for like a carb source but 5 grams of fat and 24 grams of carbs for 3 ounces. So, like, that's 3 ounces worth in my meal thing. It's a decent amount. So, anyways, guys, that's going to be my lunch and dinner today. I just wanted to share that with you guys.